Welcome in. I'm Prim Saripapa alongside Tim Hasselbeck, talking about Josh McCown today, a journeyman he is since graduating from Sam Houston State 12 years ago. He's made stops with eight different NFL teams. He even had stints with the UFL's Hartford Colonials and as a head coach for a high school football team. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Well, now at 34, he is the starting QB for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So, Tim, when you watch tape of this guy, mm -hmm. what does he do so well? Well, I think when you watch Josh early on in his career, it was evident he's a really physically talented guy. Strong arm, a much better athlete than people realize. He actually played wide receiver at one point when he was in 2007, I believe, with the Detroit Lions. He's gifted physically. And so even at 34 years old, you see a guy that the ball still comes out of his hand really well. The difference from early on to how he played last year with the Chicago Bears just making better decisions you know early on on teams that weren't very good he would turn the football over you know it seemed like for every touchdown pass he threw one or two interceptions you know now um, he's a guy that's looked like he's learned the game it's maybe slowed down for him a little bit and because of that you see a guy making good decisions so that's the biggest difference between the Josh McCown people saw when he was a young player versus the one they saw playing in Chicago a year ago. So the Bucks have a new offensive coordinator mm -hmm. in Jeff Tedford, formerly the head coach for Cal. How do you think he'll fit in with his offensive system? You know, Jeff Tedford has always done a good job of making quarterbacks feel comfortable, coaching them up, and, and really getting the most out of guys. Now, it hasn't been at the NFL level as a play caller, but he's done it in college. And so what I would expect uh, for them to do in Tampa still rely on, on trying to run the football. They do have a good back in Doug Martin, um, but more importantly, do things that Josh is comfortable with and that he's had success doing. I think that will end up being the key. It's been somewhat of a mark of, uh, throughout Jeff Tedford's career to do things that his quarterbacks are good at doing, get them kind of master those things rather than have a voluminous playbook. So I think in that regard, um, that's the type of stuff we'll see, some of the things you saw in Chicago. Interesting. Yeah. Last season with the Bears, McCown generated a passer rating of over 90 in the seven games he filled in for Jay. So among ESPN's total mm -hmm. QBR leaders last season, he actually finished number one. Is he a journeyman peaking at the right time <laughs> in his career? Kind of similar to right. uh, Rich Gannon. Well, Rich Gannon is a great example because he did exactly that, bounced around and then became the MVP of the league at one point. You know, it's hard to explain, but when you can see the game the same way as a quarterback, the same way as your offensive coordinator and play caller sees the game, then all of a sudden people say, well, where was this guy before? That relationship and that marriage between play caller and quarterback is so important. And so. Um, is he peaking at the right time? Well, he already has because he played his best football going into a free agent year. Um, now, will he be able to duplicate the success that he had a year ago? Look, he threw 13 touchdowns and one interception in five games uh, and five starts. Uh, ultimately, I think when you look at it, I think we'll see better football than we saw him play early in his career with the Arizona Cardinals and the Oakland Raiders. I'm not so sure we'll see sustained su su success the way we did in Chicago a year ago. A QB cannot do it all. He's got to no. have a good supporting gas and some help. For more on McCown, the Bucks, and the rest of the NFL, keep it logged on to ESPN.com. For Tim Hasselbeck, I'm Prim Sarifapat.